Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The title of this particular prophetic word says, Your Marriage. I say it again. The title of this particular prophetic word says, Your Marriage. Now, I want to save this in. This is going to be a great confirmation to you and to so many other people. And this will resonate with your spirit, I believe. Now, every time you begin to see some things happening, you must understand that God cares about you. He's concerned about you. He knows what is happening and he knows what you're going through. Now, the Lord led me your way to talk to you about your marriage. I want to talk to two categories of people. You're here. The first person is the person who is not married. That's the first person I want to talk to right now. You're here and you've been praying for marital blessings. You've been praying that let the Lord give you a partner. You've been praying that let the Lord identify you with a partner. You've been praying that let God honor you with a partner. And, you know, one of the things about praying and believing God for a partner or a kingdom spouse is that sometimes you're so particular about your age. You're so particular about the time. You're looking at yourself like time is passing. Another thing is when you begin to see people who are your age, who are having kids, who are already having um partners sometimes it makes you go under pressure and under tension another thing is when you begin to say to yourself for how long am i going to keep waiting you're seeing your mates and all that like when you don't even know the time that you're going to get married you don't even know the time when maybe somebody's going to cross part with you you don't even um maybe you're in a relationship but you don't even know when your partner is going to Want to marry you or make a proposal or maybe you're in a relationship that has been from one problem to the other from one misunderstanding to the other and you're looking at this like this is not normal you know there are always going to be things like that but i want to tell you something not everybody's destiny is the same not everybody's life is the same there are people who are meant to break marital curses there are people who are meant to break generational curses there are people who are meant to break patterns and the moment that is on them, <clears throat> they will be fought. I say it again. The moment that is on them, they will be fought. There is somebody who gets married and every other married person in their family begins to get married. There is another person who is like, okay, people in my family are already married except me. There's another person who says that. Now, you must understand that the people who are married in your family sometimes some of them are not comfortable and yours is like this because god wants you to bring that atmosphere of making marriage in your family comfortable so there are people who are meant to break curses <clears throat> there are people who are meant to put a stop there are people who are meant to do a lot so the devil will fight them the devil will make sure that he fights you because he knows yours is going to be different. He knows if you finally get married, you're going to be stable. He knows if you finally get married, everything is going to be fine. He knows everything is going to be okay with you. But right now, there is a lot of battles. There is a lot of attacks. And at this point in time, you're so discouraged. You are so discouraged, like maybe love is not for you. Maybe marriage is not for you. Honey, love is for everybody marriage is for people who are determined and wants to get married except the lord clearly out outlines it and tells you don't get married but when one door closes several door opens and you should not be putting your hopes down always stay on the lane and be alert in what god wants to do in your life all right there are people who married now and then they have children more than people who had already been married or before people who had already been married they have the best of life probably because they've worked on their characters and they are now okay the second category of people are these people who you're married already but you're not feeling it you're feeling like you're in a mess you're regretting the marriage you're regretting a lot about your marriage now let me tell you something 
Nothing good comes really easy all the time. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> there is a level where you're going to be fought. Now, whenever the enemy wants to attack you and notices that you are not shaking, huh? what the enemy is going to do is the enemy is going to attack who you love, what you're dedicated to, period, period. That is what they are going to do. Oh, this person is not afraid of this. This person is not afraid of this. Okay, we're going to attack who he loves, who she loves, who her attention is drawn towards, who his attention is drawn to. to. When they notice that, they know, okay, this is going to affect you. So if you're somebody who is dedicated to your marriage and everybody you're supposed to normally be dedicated to your marriage, the enemy is going to be like, oh, so your heart is there. Your heart is there. Your heart is there. Your heart is there. And all that. There are a lot of people who are suffering today, not knowing they are under attack. Nothing good really comes easy. The devil will attack your marriage to discourage you, attack your marriage to make you go out of it. But this is not the time when you become discouraged. This is the time when you begin to pray for your marriage and say, Lord, let your will be done. If you're not married, let the will of the Lord be done. If you're married, let the will of the Lord be done. I want to pray for everybody that is here and you have any stress concerning marriage. Like you want to marry, so it's stressing you. You're already married, it's stressing you. I pray. I speak peace. I speak divine clarity and direction. I speak peace. I speak divine clarity and direction. I speak peace. I speak divine clarity and direction <clears throat> in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody type it on the comment section, connect yourself, make that confession. Say, Lord, please intervene in my marital life. Say it again. Say, Lord, say, please intervene in my marital life. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please, if these have been of great help to you, I want to beg on you that you please pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord is going to lead you. Please kindly pray for me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. What are you waiting for? If you haven't subscribed, you're welcome to the family. God bless you as you join this amazing family. <clears throat> In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much, I do. I love you. I love you so, so much, I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.